to go back to David Carr because he came out in 2002. Yes, sir. That's the year I was in Tampa Bay. And we didn't have a first-round draft choice. We had to trade a first and a second rounder for a star. That was me. <laughs> we, didn't have, we couldn't take your brother. I want to know what it's like witnessing a brother going number one in the draft. Right. What was that like? Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, again, that's something that not a lot of you know, 12-year-olds get to experience. You know, going to the draft, just witnessing those things, it's such a blessing. But he's still a big part of your life, isn't he? I mean, he's at yes. every one of your home games. He still looks like a movie star. <laughs> but he comes to all your games. He's, he's, he was the man at Fresno. What's it like having a big brother that played at this university as your number one supporter? What an advantage. You know, just what a blessing it is from God mm -hmm. to have, you know, a, a guy like that who's been through, you know, the roller coasters of this game. I've been around, you know, football, around the NFL game since I was 12, you know, 11, 12 years old. I remember sitting down with him. He's getting ready for the Jacksonville Jaguars, you know, just another Sunday, you know, afternoon game. And I'm sitting there at 12 years old saying, oh, it's third and four. Okay, the nickel's pressed. Oh, they're playing two-man this time. Oh, he's doing this. Oh, they're blitzing this time. You know, 12-year-olds aren't supposed to watch NFL games and do those things. I played quarterback. My brother played quarterback at Louisville. Yep. I played at Dayton. Are you better than them? You know, I, I, if you're both on the board, if yeah. you're both on the board, who are you taking? Yeah, I'm taking me, yeah, because I'm, I'm a competitor, and he'll say the same thing. He said, he'll say, I'm taking myself because we are extremely confident in what we do. No, nah, you can't answer this politically correct. No, no. You're not like him at all. No. You're in a totally different offense in right. a totally different era, and right. your position playing style is totally different. Yeah, it is. Now, I want you. Right. What do you say about that? I appreciate that. You know, let's go win some championships now. 70% completions, 113 touchdowns and 24 interceptions. This is this is a lot of yards, man. Yes, How sir. many yards? 13,000? Yeah. Is, is your arm sore? <laughs> no, sir. I can throw, throw all day. Where's Derek Carr throwing the football with the great ones? You can line anybody up against me and I'm going to throw against them. And I, and I like my chances, you know, in, in the most humble way. There's not a throw that I can't make, you know, and if I have to make it, I will make it. I'm very confident. Uh, you know, I feel like I, like I can fit one in behind a corner's face. You know, I feel like even if the guy's covered, I can put it, put the ball where it needs to be so we can have a successful play. I mean, you're six foot three, 220 pounds, you run four six. You got a great pedigree with your brother. Yes, you sir. call all the plays in college and you average 50 points a game. What's wrong with all the the, re the reading I've done? I don't see your name up here in these mock drafts. <laughs> Is there something I'm missing? No, sir. Is Good. there a flaw, a, a dramatic flaw? No, sir. Yeah, there's two different kinds of perceptions of me. You know, there's one in the media, and then there's one that matters. You know, there's uh, you know the ones the the ones that I'm getting from the coaches, the GMs. That kind of perception is a lot different than the one you hear on TV. So you know, we'll find out on draft day.